Hey guys, it's Mar here with a tutorial on how to install a Team Fortress 2 server onto your Linux VPS. Uh, this will also work if you have a Linux computer or have a Linux dedicated server, um, but this is specifically for Ubuntu 13.04 for 32-bit. Um, this also will work on Ubuntu 12.04 and probably 11.04 in every Ubuntu version that is 32-bit. Um, I actually have a 64-bit version on my server, so I had two extra commands that I put in, which I'll put in the description. Um, so first thing I want to do is open up Putty, and if you don't have that, just Google it and put in your uh, server's IP. Alright, so I'm going to log in here as a root. Um, and if you are logged in as root, one of the things you may want to do is add a user, and I'm going to name it TF2. I already added it. But basically what this does is gives you a separate account for you to manage your TF2 files. And also if you start a server on root, it gives you uh, security protocol um, issues, I guess. So I'll log into my TF2 account. All right, so the first thing I want to do is download the Steam CMD file. Uh, Team Fortress 2 has just updated to Steam CMD sometime in May or June, I forget when, but um, you'd no longer use HLDS update tool. So if you're watching a tutorial that says use HLDS update tool, you're very outdated. Uh, my older tutorials say that, so um, this is my updated one. This is the link. Uh, I'll put this also in the description. So just type wget space and then paste the link. And once you do that, uh, here you go, you have this. Um, I already have a version of it saved, so I'll just this one's saved as 0 0.1, which means I have two copies of it, but that's irrelevant. So once you have to extract your files, and you extract it with tar-xvzf uh, steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz. This just extracts everything, and here you can see the files that are inside it. Um, the one that we need to use is steamcmd.sh. If you are running a 64-bit computer, then right now I would recommend you to go back to your root account and install the two files, uh, the two um, commands that I have put in the description. If not, you'll get an error. So things you want to do is do uh, dot forward slash steamcmd.sh, which executes steamcmd. And right here you can see it is uh, checking for updates on steamcmd. Um, it's going to take a couple seconds, usually it's pretty fast. And here you are inside the Steam CMD console client now. Uh, the first thing you want to do is log in anonymous, which means that you are logging in with an anonymous account. There are some games where you need to log in with a registered account, but for Team Fortress 2, this is what you need to do. And then the second thing you need to do is force underscore install underscore dir, which means you're forcing install into a certain directory. You can put the directory as anything, and I put the directory as tf slash tf2. And now you're ready to download it. So you do app underscore update two three two two five zero. This is the uh, that is the number for Team Fortress Two. Uh, other games have other numbers, so just you can Google that if you have other games. Um, you can see I already have it up to date because I just downloaded it. Uh, it actually takes maybe thirty minutes to download, depending on how fast internet is. So I'm just gonna skip that part. Once you do that, you do app underscore two three two two five zero validate. Uh, the validation is actually optional, but I would highly recommend it on your first download, and afterwards uh, you can just skip the validations, but if you're getting errors on your server, you shall go back and validate it. Um, this will take about maybe a minute or two. Uh, it goes by pretty fast because I already validated it earlier. So uh, we're watching it validate now. Alrighty, so now it says that um, my app is already up to date, which means that it is uh, updated and it is validated 100%. So, uh, now you just type quit. And now that you're quit, uh, 
this means you're back in the regular directory and because I had the force installed directory to slash tf2 I will change my directory with cd tf2 um, if you made your directory something else like team fortress just do cd team fortress and here you are inside the tf2 file and this is where like basically your tf2 components are and the way to start it up is sr uh, actually dot uh, forward slash sr sr cds run game tf um, max players however many max players you want so let's just say 15 obviously 15 um, then we say plus map and I'll say the map is pl bad water and there are also other commands you can run like debug uh, you can also run auto update and then you have to put in steam directory stuff um, if you need help with that you can probably just find it on the wiki but this is the way to basically just start running it and the first time you run it generally you probably have some connection errors uh, sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't and it looks like I'm actually not having errors on this one hopefully I have no errors actually um, it takes maybe 30 seconds to start up it gets a lot faster okay yeah so there is an error uh, Nope, I lied. There's no error. If it says connection to Steam server is successful and your public IP is this, that means it's successful. But usually the first time you open something, it will say uh, unsuccessful and it's running in LAN mode only. And that's not a problem. Do not worry about it. Just close the, uh, just type quit. Or actually, yeah, it's quit. Um, just type quit and just try again. And now the um, other thing you may want to know is that if I have my server running, and I just close this terminal, the server itself will shut down. So before you close it, you should put um, screen on dash m dot s, just uh, name it tf2, and then put in your run command. Uh, basically what this does is it runs it in a screen, which allows, um, sorry, it allows the, uh, the server to run in a separate window. So when you close this, so I close this, the server is still running. So there you go. That is uh, how to download and install and start up a stock TF2 folder uh, server. Awkward. <laughs> Bye.